Okay. Do you know what sugar babies have to do to make money? There are sh- these are sugar baby confessions, a brutally honest peek behind the curtain into the world of transactional dating. Now, according to Urban Dictionary, a very um, reputable source, they say a sugar baby is a young lady who is financially pampered and cared for by a sugar daddy in exchange for companionship. One sugar baby said transactional arrangements are very straightforward and all the cards are on the table. Well, technically, the man's credit card is on the table. But I'm bump. Hey, hey, oh. So this is what sugar babies do. They um, are financially pampered and cared for by these uh, richer daddies. Yeah. As they or like mommies. to say. Or mommies. Yeah. I'm a, sh- I'm a sugar baby. <laughs> yeah. I'll go out and say it. You've, you, you're getting taken care of by yep. someone? Kim K. <laughs> yeah, Kim K. There it is. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, uh, Pete. So here are a couple stories uh, from Sugar Baby Confessions Ooh. that we're talking about right now. Like the one lady who said, technically, the man's card is on the table, but she does like it because it's straightforward and transactional. It's a business relationship. Next girl says, I'm a professional sugar baby, and I have seven, seven different simultaneous Sugar daddy, right now. (laughs) I love learning about all the different professions, i.e. doctor, lawyer, Hollywood director, and investment banker. So she's shooting for the stars over here. Just Google that. And she's trying out new hobbies, i.e. golf, sailing, fly fishing, (laughs) etc. All from a, a diverse collection of daddies. All right. All right, all right. All right, all right. So she says it opened up my world to many new experiences, cultures, and ways of life. Good for you, sugar baby number two. Um, number our three, next contestant. our next contestant <laughs> for sugar baby uh, of the year. She says, when I was 19, I had a sugar daddy. Okay. Okay. All I was right. in college and needed to pay loans. I hear you, girl. This girl. man, who was like 68 or something, she says, my had man. reached out to me. And I jokingly replied, I am now 32 and we are married. Oh, boom. This is like a complete uh, Anna Nicole Smith situation gotten that written all over. Talk about transactional. So when she was 19, he was 68. Okay. Girl. So now. That guy's like a. Okay, exactly. So now she's 32. So that's what? 13 years difference. That's 19. That's 20. that's That's 13 years difference. He was 68. So he's. Am I doing this right? No, 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 no. Yes, he's 68. She's okay, so she's 31 now. How old is she? 32? He's 81 now. She's 32 and he's 81. 19 plus 13. That's 32. Boom. 68 plus 13. Okay. Yeah, that's 81. Exactly. So she's 32, 81. She's dating Anthony Fauci. (laughs) (laughs) Pretty much. Remember Anna Nicole Smith? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much that. That's exactly what's going on. Waiting for him to die. Um, anyway, that's sugar baby number Talk about three. playing the long At game. At the end of this, you tell me what sugar baby you would prefer. <laughs> um, the new Cosmo article. Number four says, I'm currently working as a sugar baby. Hell yeah. To help with college, much like sugar baby number Save three. That money. Some experiences haven't been so good. Ugh. With the men I was just, uh, the men I work with, I was were pushing boundaries and doing things that they didn't have permission to do. Girl. And so on. And some of it also isn't so bad. Uh, sugar baby number four, you be careful out there. You be careful out there. Uh, don't do anything that you don't want to do. Yeah. Uh, you are well within your sugar baby rights to leave that sugar daddy and find a better sugar daddy for your own. Yeah. Don't do anything weird. Exactly. Get out of that. Anyway, this 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 is all started with this hypergamy so, uh, story, the act of dating up. Yeah. Uh, now we're talking about sugar babies dating wealthy sugar daddies. Sugar baby number five, this is the last one. She says, I had a thing with a guy in his late 50s when I was in my early 30s. It lasted a few years. He paid for everything. Fancy dinners, luxury hotels, designer clothes, the whole thing. I honestly had a blast. And the kicker was it was the absolute best sex of my life. Good for you, sugar baby number five. (laughs) Talk about that sugar. Talk about that sugar. You know what, lady? uh, He did. Pay for everything because that's kind of the whole point. Uh, that's of what the I was gonna say. Daddy. I would hope so. Shockingly, he paid for everything. No shit. That's kind I didn't of know the what whole that's point what that of meant. the sugar daddy thing. I thought we just banged. So look, there's a moral of the story, and I doubt we have too many sugar babies or sugar daddies even listening right here. Well, let's see. But it. if, if you're I a sugar were baby, sugar to give daddy. a sugar baby any advice, and yeah. we talked about this. We talked about you know some different stories right there. I would be, uh, I would get something that was 
long lasting. So we talked about the girl who got her college paid for. Maybe you get a guy to help start up a business, maybe a life changing trip or an upgraded mindset. Maybe you remember the girl we talked about. I'm learning new things, new hobbies. Okay, great. But if you do the typical cars, clothes, jewelry, fancy dinner things, next thing you know, you're going to be an old, broke sugar baby, and nobody wants an old, broke sugar baby. That's embarrassing. So be very careful with what you spend your sugar baby money on. Yeah. Um, Also, yeah, you're right. Like, make that, dude, if you got a sugar daddy, get your bills paid first. Get your bills paid, get your college degree, upgrade, upgrade, and then... You can go out and get your little uh, fancy little things. But most people don't have, you know, elevated mindset like that. Most people who are being sugar babies aren't like, yes, I'm using him to pay for my college and then medical school and everything is uh, progressing nicely. And next thing you know, I'll have a sugar baby degree and I will not no longer need a sugar daddy. These are the times. Most sugar babies like, I want a new purse. I want some new heels. Yeah. I want some sugar. I want some sweet and low. I want it all. Why are you saying it like that? I don't know. I just feel like that's how a sugar baby would <laughs> yeah, talk. Yeah, that's I exactly. These are the times I wish I was a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. yeah. I get it, but... I um, would, dude. Even I, if you are... And I'm not even disparaging sugar babies or sex workers or any... Like, do what you got to do. But you can be, like... You could be a porn star and also have an elevated mindset. You can well, be yeah, a sugar absolutely. baby and understand budgeting and saving, investing, and paying off college debt. Like, you can be that. Or you could be a sugar baby or porn star, whatever it is, and just be an idiot. And spend all your money on crap, cars, clothes, jewelry, meals, whatever, and still end up broke. So your profession, I, I could care less. It's about the mindset. What would you say to the sugar daddy uh, as far as the aspect of, like, wealth and, like, building wealth and save that money? Like, it, is that in your, like, business plan to have a sugar baby? Is it, <laughs> do you write that off as an Dude, expense? Dude, I've never been a sugar daddy. I don't understand. Do you know anyone that is? I live in Miami, buddy. You best believe there's some. Okay. There, there's some. There's some sugar being sprinkled yeah, out Yeah, there are there, some daddies okay? with some sugar. There's some daddies with some sugar. But a lot of these guys, look, they're probably well off. They're making money. I mean, we talked about the girl. She said she's dated a doctor, a lawyer, a Hollywood director, an investment banker. These guys are making money. Do you ever have any conversation with these guys and be like, so what's that like, bro? No, because like, I doubt that have a boyfriend. this. You know, Really? Like, I mean, I think so. I think a, I think a sugar daddy's more willing to be like, yeah, that's the, that's the girl I take care of, and she takes care of me. All right, I've got a goal. I got to hunt down some sugar daddies yeah. and find out what they're doing, and then and maybe we can, we can get some sugar babies on the Sazcast, do some interviews. Do both. I think we should okay. do both. We get, we you don't have to say goals, the names. Goals. Twenty twenty two goals. Business plan. Um, and then uh, yeah, see what that's like. Anyway, uh, whether you're a sugar baby, sugar daddy, sugar mama, whatever it is, mindset is the most important thing. If you're gonna get some more to pay your bills. Get something long-lasting out of it yeah. rather than a handbag. Make sure he or she is at least 50 years of age. That way you got some time. <laughs> right? Right, as opposed but to not the guy too much she started of when he was 68 and now Well, no, 81. I think, yeah, I think that's good. You know, it's quicker. Get it over with, Cooper. All we talk is money. All we talk is money. If you enjoyed that short clip from the Sawscast, click here to watch another. Click here to watch the full episode or just stay broke.